As the bright green leaf sun soaked her fur, Downy Stripe waited to join her clanmates in Starclan. She could feel the paws tugging at her sides, coaxing her to lift off of the ground and into the skies with them. Ready to let out her last breath, she prepared herself to be lifted. Then nothing. Her clanmates were gone, the air was silent, and she felt afraid. Did Starclan reject her? She didn't dare open her eyes, afraid she might see the dark forest around her. She continued to fight gravity, wanting to force herself up and into the skies, begging her clanmates to wait for her. After a few futile attempts, she was suddenly jerked into the air. The force knocked the air out of her, and her limbs fell limp. This wasn't the gentle touch her clanmates had. Daddy Stripe was wrapped in a soft cloth. Incoherent chattering overwhelmed her ears, but she didn't have the energy to cover them with her paws. When she opened her eyes, she faced a pair of two legs. So, April Fools, Downy Stripe isn't dead? I know Monday uploads are a bit abnormal for me, but I was struggling to find the time and motivation to edit this episode. I'll get into that later. In the meantime, welcome to the fourth year of Waste Clan. In the last episode, Danny Stripe lost all but one of her lives and prepared to join Star Clan. Not ready to let the series end just yet, the Sars sent her a divine gift. AKA, I stopped the game and edited the code to remove her starvation. This green leaf, she has been rescued by two legs who are nursing her back to health. This housing is only temporary and she'll return to her camp when she's ready. As a reminder, captions are available if you need them. Downy Stripe's body was still weak with malnourishment when she woke up in the two leg home. As grateful as she was to have food and shelter, she worried about Starclan's opinions on her situation. Was this them rejecting her? Will she be frowned upon for succumbing to a kitty pet's soft and simple life? This isn't what she wanted. Dragging herself out of the two-leg home, she explored the area around. She saw a strange metal forest nearby. Smooth white tree trunks stretched towards the sky, massive branches spinning and letting out a hum. The stench of two legs in the area assured her that these were not natural. Getting closer, she found dead birds scattered around the bases. Was this how two legs harvested prey? It seemed wasteful, a disgrace to Star Clan in their ways. The next moon, Downy Stripe's dreams were swamped with the sounds of waves crashing on her head, the water filling her ears as she struggled to stay afloat. The weight of the water soaks her small, frail body, pulling her into the darkness away from the surface. As the water filled her lungs, she felt a sharp jab at her side, then a few more before jolting awake, alone and on dry land. Star Clan is punishing her, she's sure of it. These nightmares are just proof. Sneaking out of the Tulek home, she catches a bird nearby and makes a trek back to her territory. As Leafall approaches, Danny Stripe considers the state of her clan. Being in the only cat around makes her more of a loner than a clan member. She can never be leader if there's no other cats to lead. She studies the thought as she patrols the glass lamps, checking the border scents that have gone stale in her absence. She keeps an eye out for Hemlock Clan, curious as to how they've been, but she doesn't catch a patrol. Still smelling their scent, she marks down her own alongside the same rugged terrain the buffalo trample, hoping they'll notice her return. Denny Stripe hadn't realized how much she missed hunting until she came across a young fox kit carrying a mouse. Feeling a rush of excitement, she chases after the kit, spitting and hissing as it runs. The fox is fast, but knowing that Denny Stripe is faster, it drops the mouse and continues to run. Puffed up and proud, she returns to her camp with the catch. Kitty's pet sloth will never compare to a warm mouse in her belly. For the remaining moon of leaf fall, Downy Stripe hunts around the two-leg place. Watching the kitty pets play with colorful mouse balls in their enclosed spaces makes her chest ache. As happy as she is in the wasteland, it gets lonely. She doesn't feel as safe out there as she did surrounded by the other cats and their two legs. With Leaf Bear approaching, she reminds herself that she'll need to recruit new members for the clan if she wants Waste Clan to thrive. The whispering voices of the dark forest in her ears is the last thing Downy Stripe needed as the cold chill of Leaf Bear set in. However, her luck looks up when a loner calls out to her. The cat introduces herself as Hop, a ten-year-old healer who was settled nearby. She says that she uses her medical knowledge to help wandering cats and thought Downy could use some help. In exchange for shelter, she promises to be a useful asset to Waste Clan. Excited to see another cat, and eager for another clan member, 
Danny Stripe excitedly welcomes her to the clan. And that is where I am ending this video. This footage and the art is from back in December. It took me the longest time to bring myself to work on it. I got a new PC, I went on hiatus. While editing this video, I noticed half the footage was gone. It became difficult to stay invested. I thought about dropping Waste Clan as a whole from the last episode, but I chose to push through it. What about the rest of Year 4? Well, I actually played all the way up to Year 7. I didn't want all that gameplay to go to waste, though. My solution was to put the rest of my notes on Kofi. I'll drop a new year every Monday, free to read each week up until the end. However, if you don't have the patience and want to read as quick as possible, and want to support me, you can become a Tadpole supporter on my Kofi and read everything now. It's $3 a month and comes with some other benefits, so check that out if that's something that interests you. Thank you all for watching my Waste Clan series, and maybe I'll move on to the next Clan Gen series. We'll see.